Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Um, today is the fourth year of me collecting Baco tools. So it's the 16th of October and I've been collecting Baco tools. I got my first 113 pipe wrench, uh, a 114 pipe wrench off eBay four years ago. And since then I've been trying to find Baco items um, for my collection. And this year I think has probably been the best year certainly out of the last two years um, i've got some really really good things not a lot of volume um but a lot of nice things so i think five i got i think 12 14 items i got this year um or 16 items i got this year um but i think all of them are quite nice and i'm really pleased with what i got um so without further ado um i got this from a buddy of mine in australia I did a trade just after last year, so it was uh, late last year, and it's a, a 124 pipe wrench with its original screw in lovely condition. Um, really, really pleased to pick that up. Um, and uh, that completes my set of the 120 series pipe wrenches, which I'll show you later. Um, I was really pleased. Another swap I got was this one here, which is an early Baco number three type 2 very very early design which i got off my buddy pele in um in sweden um and i gave him a 50 series uh, for it and it's a nice condition one thank you very much pele um and it's a number 3 and then i managed to get a number 5 off a chap in sweden as well and that them two are extremely rare wrenches um and that completes uh, my set of um, first generation so i have one to six i have one of each size so i was really pleased with that um another chap i think from australia lovely guy i managed to get this number 54 off and um, great addition and in nice condition as well um and it last two years i haven't got any new 50 series spanners the first year i got four examples and then the second year and the third year i didn't get any new examples just doubles and then this year i got this wonderful 61 off a wonderful chap in um in in denmark i, I believe um but really really nice so i don't i done really well then i from a nice chap in thailand i did a trade and i got this uh, number 83 with the unusual jaws and um, which you don't see and at 82 which you also you don't see and alex already got me an 81 so i've got a set of three of those which is fantastic um and i also got this 165 in very nice condition i did have a 165 before but this one is in rather nice condition so this is a new one for me which was a trade so i've traded a lot of items um and then from alex found me in the netherlands this wonderful uh, e a berg eskatuna sweden um and you can see there e a berg sweden um he got me this wonderful folding screwdriver um and i got i think from sweden i bought this wonderful uh, little stamp which i thought was quite novel um and then from the uk i found three items this year i got this um backo quite a nice condition uh, 12 inch double-ended adjustable um i do have one but this one is in far superior condition than the one i got from argentina off my buddy andreas um, and then i got these two funny enough um, i got this one from my good friend from argentina martin um, and he let me have this one from his collection to replace the one i swapped because i had to trade uh, for these ones and I also traded my good 164 and I got this on from England and um, to complete so the two I actually traded I managed to replace thanks to Martin and eBay so I did really well um with these items and I got two more even more I would say more special items than these which I'm going to show you as well but I can't believe how many to get sort of 16 new items is more than one a month and um, I thought I've done extremely, been very lucky this year. Um, I think this is my best year, possibly excepting the first year. 
So uh, let's get these put away and I'll show you the other items I picked up as well. Right, so the last two items which I picked up, which I picked this up quite recently, which is a wonderful 1940s steel um, display with its original uh, legs. A really nice um, five spanner display, um, early vintage backhoe. So really, really nice display. Um, heavy duty steel. Um, and I also picked up this wonderful backhoe tools 1920s with the wonderful printing. I don't know if you can see, you can see all the 75, number 69, and number 10. Uh, number 31 etc so i don't put the tools on it because i don't want to damage the board but it's a really really nice example and it's the same time period 1920s of this display board as well and as you can see you've got the 20 series with the screw and 130 series without and you've got the 163 to 165 the pipe wrenches etc etc so Really, really cool. So super pleased with that. Uh, super duper. Um, and as you can see here, we've got the completed set of the 20 series. And behind it, we've got the 30 series um, just behind it all there. So two completed series, which is really good. Up top here, we've got the um, Generation 2, the earliest type backhoe, which I have with the wider handle and it's got um a six five four three two and a one and um, eight to i think 24 inches so really really cool to complete that site complete that set and then over here we've got the three which are new with the uh, unusual jaws i believe there's more sizes to that but that's the only three i've got and um, so pretty good and then we've got the nice new addition um double ender on the display there really really cool and then up here we're doing really well we've got the 165 4 and 3 which are all new this year the 54 and then the number 61 behind that 54 so rather rather done rather well this year um super super pleased and then over here we've got um the vintage backo stuff i've collected in the last four years and then just over here, we have the little stamp and the screwdriver. We've got some extra doubles, like a nice 55. And um, that's the one I replaced, not as in good condition. And some early pipe wrenches. So, yep, yeah, I'm really pleased with what I picked up this year. Um, a big thank you to um, all the people who've helped me do trades and helped me swap these items. I'm really grateful. Um, Martin and Pele and the rest of the guys who've helped me do swaps. So, yeah, it's been a very good year this year. I've got some, I've been very fortunate. I very highly doubt next year will be anywhere near as good as this year. I just, I just don't see how it's possible. All right, thanks for watching if you got this far. Have a wonderful day and bye.